Okay, this is Letters to Planet Earth, Chapter 6. Akiana Kramerik, the woman who painted that amazing picture of Jesus when she was eight years old, that Akiana Kramerik, she said after she heard the music of heaven, all music on earth hurt her ears. I can relate. Not to the heaven part, because I've never been there, but as you may have noticed, I have been to earth, and yes, the music hurts my ears. Music is to my ears what a landfill might be to your nose. It's an affront, an assault, a disturbance, a whirlpool of chaos. But then the exceptions come along and surprise me. With his piano, George Winston takes me out into a forest on a rainy day. Arwen helps me imagine a universe where Amy says yes, and Cantoma gets me dancing down the Chicago Avenue sidewalk on a rainy night, looking at the lights of the city reflected in the pavement, and somehow the violence of the city can no longer touch me, and I forget that I don't know how to dance. So yeah, music transports me. It takes me somewhere I wasn't expecting to go. Andromeda. I looked at Leo. Andromeda. In the galactic neighborhood. Like running down to the corner grocery store. All in a day's work. Outside the window, the galaxy of Andromeda grew larger and larger. It looked to me like we were headed straight for it and we would be there in less than a minute if we didn't get pulled over for breaking the cosmic speed limit. Leo reached into a drawer and grabbed something. Then he walked over to me and draped it around my neck. It was a lanyard. You'll need this, he told me. Don't lose it. Okay. I looked out the window and the stars of another galaxy were rushing past. Um, I said, not knowing how to ask the question. I assumed there would be a briefing, an orientation, some kind of training, so I would know how to carry out this assignment from Jesus. When I got the delivery job, Mr. G showed me how to box up an order. You got to remember that drink caddy because, as you may recall, the delivery car didn't have any cup holders. And what to do if the horn got stuck? You know, things a delivery driver would need to know. He even went with me on my first couple deliveries. Yes, of course, Leo said. Maybe he can read my mind. I've taken care of everything. I rewired your brain so you speak and read Centellarian. You'll still write in English, which no one here will be able to read, but I thought it might be helpful for you since you're a writer. I'm not sure that made any sense, but outside the window, another blue, green, and white ball was coming into view, just like Earth, but the continents were all wrong. And I did a scan on all the microbes in your body and converted them to Centellarian, just so you don't start a plague. Plus, it makes the food easier to digest. I turned around. The door was open. Leo was talking as he stepped outside, motioned for me to follow. He was talking about my carbon registration, but it was hard to concentrate on what he was saying because his words were swallowed up in the music. Music that took me by surprise. If you're making a movie and you want to make a scene feel like wonder— You find a really good music director and say, this is the feeling I want to evoke. They do the magic and wonder is what you get. So this is like lining up all the best music directors in the world and giving them the words wonder and beauty and home. And after they all came up with their entries, someone came along who outclassed them all, made them all look like elementary school kids trying to learn the tuba. Maybe this is what Akiana Kramerik heard. Maybe this was the music of heaven. The redwoods, or something like them, circled us. I watched the birds swoop in and out of the branches in time with the music and then disappear into the mist. I was mesmerized. I knew I should be listening to Leo, but I was lost, transported, overcome. I stood there savoring every moment until whatever song I was listening to finally faded away. Then I turned around. Leo was gone, and I was all alone. Thus ends the reading of Chapter 6. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you think should happen next. 
Thanks a bunch. Have a fantastic week.